Yo! So you're the new cameraman, huh? I hear you're a rookie. The name's Briscoe. I'm the sound guy. Nice to meet you. That's Pamela. You've seen her before, haven't you? She's Zaka TV's star reporter, after all. Hey, you're pretty lucky to be teamed up with Pamela right off the bat. But don't go getting any funny ideas about her, you hear me? Of course, Pamela probably wouldn't give you the time of day anyway. Man, what could the agency be thinking? I mean, sending a newbie like this guy out to get scoops? Huh? Oops, you hear that? Oh well, don't let it bother you. Now then, I'll be teaching you everything you need to know about TV news coverage. Listen up, do exactly as I say. Of course, a cameraman's number one job is to be able to shoot things properly. It doesn't get any more basic than that. You know what to do, right? Okay, first off, try shooting that box there. Fine. You should be able to do at least that much if you call yourself a cameraman. Number two, you gotta have an eye for scoops. Can't just let them pass you by. Just pointing the camera at things will never get you a scoop, you know? If you want a scoop, you gotta get out there and make one. And you can't just stand there like a stick. You gotta move around. Up high. Down low. You gotta shoot the subject from every angle.
Did you find anything? Okay, next topic. Ramming is a technique you can use in a pinch. A cameraman can only use his body, you see. He can't take his hands off the camera. Okay, try ramming into me right now. Not too hard though, you hear? You, you ready? Okay, go ahead and try it. But take it easy. We're just practicing here, remember? Okay, go. Easy now. You idiot! I told you to take it easy! Son of a... Now only use ramming in emergencies, okay? You'll know when. Just use your common sense. Man, that hurt. So you're the new guy, huh? I'm Pamela. Pamela Martell. Nice to meet you. Okay, Briscoe. I'm borrowing the new guy until we start shooting. Okay, fine. But there isn't a whole lot of time, you know. Don't be late for the take. It can be tough out here on location. We've got to work as a team, okay? Don't mind Briscoe. He's always like that. He's a really dependable guy, though. He'll be a big help to us both. Oh, one more thing. As a cameraman, getting scoops is important. But it's not the only thing, in my opinion. For example, if somebody right in front of you needs help, or if there's some kind of emergency, I think you should stop shooting and help them. Of course, that's just my own personal opinion. But I've seen lots of cameramen that don't stop and help. But I suppose being able to film a brutal scene calmly is part of your job, too. If I think of it in those terms, I guess it could be a good... I was just about to trip over that board. Thank you. So that's the way you work, is it? I can tell we're going to get along just fine. But if you hadn't warned me about that board, you might have gotten a little scoop on me. Well, I guess we'd better head back to the news van. Okay, wake up. Time for a scoop. Get up! Are you ready? Got your tapes? Battery okay? All right. Pamela is standing by outside. Make her look good now. And leave the sound to me. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Let's get it right, okay? Three, two, one. Good evening, everyone. This is Pamela Martell. We report tonight on a strange phenomena. An unusually thick fog, the cause of which is still unknown, has cropped up in the southwestern area of Lake Michigan, centering on Chicago. The entire city is covered. <gasps> Someone screamed! Let's go! Are you all right? What happened to you? What are you?
you talking about? What happened? It came through the... <laughs> oh my god! What are you doing? Ah! Run! Get away from ah! her! Come on! Quick! Let's get back to the news van! What was that? What's happening? Just calm down. What's going on? What was that thing? Calm down, Pamela. Calm down? How do you expect me to calm down? On, it's gonna be all right. Hey, what's the matter with you? Are you just going to stand there filming? Turn that camera off. I tell you, Come on, turn Pamela. it off right Quit it. now. Don't get mad at him. Useless idiot. I've had it working with losers hey, like you two. Behind you. I'm joining up with some other team. Uh, what? Just keep quiet. Behind you. There's a... M -m 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 and stop thinking you can order me Monster! around. Monster! Huh? Find anybody in that room? Nobody in this room either. What a bloody mess, huh? All right, let's give up here. There isn't anybody left in the whole hotel. Looks like it was just a false lead. Risco went downstairs a long time ago. And anyway, the other teams are getting the jump on us. We don't have time to waste hanging around here. We've got to get out there and find something. Huh? The telephone. Could it be Brisco? Hello? Slow down. Somebody answer! Mom? Mom? Is that you? No, no. I'm not your mother. I can't hear you very well. Wait! Don't hang up! Where are you? The observation deck of the center building? Is there anybody else there with you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, but, but something is coming! <laughs> okay, I've got it. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're coming to rescue you. You hear me? Don't give up. We're coming, I promise. Do you understand? She hung up. There's a survivor in the center building. Let's go. Maybe we can get some leads on what's going on. But more importantly, somebody's in trouble. Risco should be downstairs. Let's hurry.
guy, that Briscoe. As soon as he knows he won't be needed, he takes off. Oh, good! The elevators are still working! Come on, we're going down. Get in! What are you doing? You're supposed to be working. Oh, yeah. damn. I can't play this song. No, no. I mean, it's no use. Tell her parents. Briscoe? Hey, I know. I'll tell him. Pamela was a fine reporter and a brave one. She threw herself into her work. Yeah. Pamela was pretty brave, wasn't she? I, I loved her. I was crazy about Pamela. Why is she up to... Damn it! I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. Risco, I understand how you feel. Remember, Pamela and I started together. We were always friendly rivals. Look, I wish it didn't happen either. But, you know... Danger is what this job's all about. After all, Pamela knew the danger she faced. And I won't let Pamela die in vain. That's why. That's why we've got to keep going for her. Let's go out there and capture the truth. Briscoe, come on. We can't do it without you. Gee. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. Oh, man! I gotta... I gotta sober up. Think you could find me some water? All right, sure. Imagination. There isn't anybody here.
It's water. Let's get back to Briscoe. some briscoe here drink up great thanks whoo i'm a new man okay back to covering the news where to next that was a quick recovery okay there's a survivor in the center building okay got it the van's outside let's go Good. Is that it? I guess the big one got scared and took off. That wasn't so tough, really. But let's get out of here before the big guy comes back. Come on! Yes, let's go. It's a news van. It's one of ours. Let's join up with them. Good idea. There isn't anybody inside. No, I guess not. Where did they go? Hey! Look! There's somebody over there! Huh? P -p Pamela? Oh, Pamela! Look what happened to you! Poor thing! Hey! What's the matter with you? Hurry up and give me a hand! You okay, Pamela? I'm sorry I didn't save you before, but it couldn't be helped. That thing was eating you. There was nothing we could do. I can't believe you're still alive. Thank God. Come on, Pamela. Let's go. What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh, oh my God! Are you all right? What the? What are you doing? That's Pamela, you know! Are you alright? Pamela! Pamela!
Come on! Hurry! This way! Pamela! She was alive! Did you see what happened to her? God damn it! Son of a... Take it easy, Briscoe. That wasn't Pamela. Anyway, let's hide out here for the time being. Must be for this door. <laughs> huh? The door opened all by itself. What was a dead body doing in there? Hey, you. You better be getting this on tape. I bet. She tried to get away, but couldn't. We'd better go before the same thing happens to us. Let's get out of here! He's dead. The poor thing. <laughs> There's a monster out there! But we can't just stay here. It'll corner us. Huh? There's something there. Pamela! <laughs> it's the control for the shutter! I see it. It's horrible what happened to Pamela, but what else could we do? <laughs> Let's go, Briscoe. The survivor is waiting in the center building. Okay, I'm coming. I'm sorry, Pamela. Guess this is it. 
Goodbye. <laughs> I loved you. <laughs> I really did. This is the first floor of the center building. The interior is completely destroyed. Let's take a look around. As you can see, this column has completely crumbled. Let's try going in a little further. TV and I... Ah! What is that thing? We've got to find Anne. I bet she's hiding around here. Anne! Are you okay? A little thing like that didn't bother me. We're going up. Let's go to the observation deck. Get in. As you can see, thick fog blankets everything. It's impossible to see even a few yards ahead. Right now, it's hard to imagine that this place is usually bustling with tourists. Hopefully, there will be some survivors somewhere. Saka TV news team will now begin searching for them. Hello? Anybody here? We've come to rescue you. If you're here, answer me.
there's somebody here. We came to rescue you. Can you hear me? Answer me. I can hear you. Where are you? We're right here. But we can't get to you with all this rubble. We can't get through this way. We've got to find a way around. Listen to me. We're coming to save you, so stay right there. Don't move from that spot, you hear? But there are monsters! Don't worry. We're bringing a gun. I can't take it anymore. Do something for me. Tell my mom and my dad I love them. You're going to be fine. You hear me? What's your name? Becky Wands. That's a nice name. Yes. It's a very nice name. I'm Ann Anderson. Are you listening, Becky? Don't give up. You want to see Mom and Dad again, don't you? Then you can tell them you love them yourself. Yeah, okay. Are you sure? Do you promise? Just stay calm. Just wait right there. Okay, I will. I promise. Let's go. Maybe we can get there from the other side. Right. Over there. Becky! Hang on! Probably hasn't been dead for very long. Die here, and the monsters will have you in no time. The floor's caved in here. If we make our way across the beams, I think we can get to the other side. You gotta be kidding. You wanna try and cross here? Look, it's the only way to get to Becky, right? Uh-uh, no way. We'd never make it. You can't be serious. Fine, I'll go by myself. You two can do whatever you want. I can't believe this woman. Okay, let's keep going. Watch your step this time, Anne. Okay, okay, I will.
What was that for? I thought we were goners for sure. Okay, let's go. Becky is waiting for us. Crushed under the rubble. on film. That's enough. Come on, before it eats us. shooting for and I can't believe you there isn't anything left here to shoot everybody's dead and it's too late to save Becky what are you talking about didn't you see what happened just now it's a huge scoop we've already got more than enough footage of people being eaten I've had it let's go back to the office we can't do that Becky wasn't dead yet. We've got to see what happened to her. We've got to keep on shooting to the end. That's the duty of a journalist. That's what Becky would want too, I'm sure. Well, I'm not going. And neither is the cameraman. If you want to go without a camera, huh, be my guest. You can go and see what happened all you like. All right, fine. We'll go back to the office. But you two are shirking your duties. The Chief's going to hear about this. Fine by me. food. Plenty of other food for you lying around. Over here! We'll lure the monster to the corpse! Come on! And over here!
aren't we? We've got to be prepared for things like this. This woman's got ice in her veins. Unbelievable. You two call yourselves Zaka TV crew? I would hardly even call you men. Fine, whatever. Come on, we're leaving. Stop dragging your feet. Son We're here! Man, it sure is quiet. Maybe everybody evacuated already? I'll be right back. I'm going to change. you're doing you can't film me without my permission you won't get away with it I'll sue and we're sorry don't get so mad we're all lucky to be alive right now just get the hell out of here leave before I really let you have it huh. some thanks and she was just about to get eaten, too! Who does she think she is? The Zaka TV staff yearbook. Oh, look at this picture of you! You look weird. And this girl! <laughs> Take a look. Hey, there's Pamela's picture. She's so beautiful. Pamela. Look, she's smiling, you know? She always looked her best when she was smiling. Pamela. Pamela. God damn it! <laughs> I'll never forget you, Pamela. Sorry I took so long. Wow, look at this! Hey, wait a minute. Do you mean you guys were trying to save me? Gee, I'm sorry. 
I shouldn't have doubted you. Thank you. There's nobody here. Where'd everybody go? anybody in the back there's nobody here either hey that's the telephone Hello, Zaka TV. Hello? Yes, that's right. Yes? That's right. They've issued an evacuation advisory. You'd better leave the city right away. Did you call emergency rescue? What about the police? Okay. I see. All right, I see. In that case, we'll come get you. Where are you? Okay. Yes, I've got it. Yes. My name is Ann Anderson. We're heading over there right away. Please find someplace safe to wait. There's an old man all alone in a nursing home. We're gonna go rescue him? That's right. No way! I've had enough danger for one day. Thank you very much. But he's an old man, left all by himself. We can't very well just abandon him now, can we? Let the police or rescue services take care of it. It's not our job. The police? Rescue services? They both left the city a long time ago. All this time, did the authorities ever try to help us? You just want a good story, that's all. Maybe so. But right now, the important thing is that there's an old man whose life depends on us. We have to help him. It's the right thing to do. Well, Briscoe, are you coming? God damn it. I guess we gotta go. So, you decided to come after all. Thank you. You drive, okay, Briscoe?
Good evening, everybody. This is Ann Anderson. Just a little while ago, our news team received a telephone call. It seems an old man has been left behind at a nursing home. Here we are now at the Brody Nursing Home. We're just about to start looking for this man. Is somebody there? Help! Please help me! Over here! Over there! Justine! Anne? And Briscoe too? You came to save me? What in the world happened to you? I don't know! I have no idea! I was at the office when somebody suddenly attacked me from behind and knocked me out. When I came to, I was here like this. Please, get me out of these things! Look at these shackles. Who would do this? Whoever it was, he must be quite the sadist. Come on. We've got to get her out. Risco, get her free! But how do these unlock? Well, let's look around. There's got to be a way to unlock them around here somewhere. It looks like there aren't even enough balls to play nine ball. Maybe the shackles will open if we put the balls in the rack. Let's look for the other balls. There's another dead body here. Did the monsters come here too, I wonder? Wow, the poor guy. Hey! Look! There's a ball! It's the seven ball! Just two more. I wonder if there's anything in it. I'll try pulling the plug. Hey! Another ball! It's the one ball! Only one more to go! Doesn't this wall look a little too new here? You think so? I can't really tell. Well, it looks pretty suspicious to me. 
I bet you there's something behind it. If we could just find a tool to break it down. Let's keep looking. Hey, look! I don't like the way that chandelier is swaying. You're right. It could fall any minute. If it does fall, it'll crash right onto Justine! We've got to hurry! A bathtub? Huh? That water sure is a nasty color. I wonder if there's anything in it. Why don't I try pulling the plug? <laughs> it's all right. Calm down. It's just a dead body. It's not gonna attack you or anything. I'm sorry. I was just so surprised, that's all. I guess I panicked. This lamp. I wonder if it works. noise it came from inside the armoire <laughs> the sound came from inside this thing 
There's a hidden room inside. What's a room doing there? things. It's the four ball! Now we've got all of them. Try putting the balls in the rack. The shackles are open. Okay, hang on. I'll get you off of there. I'm all right. I can get up by myself. Thank you very much for helping me. Huh? But I'm the one that saved you. Oh, Justine! Thank goodness we got you out in time. But I wonder where that old man is. The one that called us? He doesn't seem to be here. I didn't think there was anybody here. I was yelling and yelling, but nobody answered me or came to help, until you guys showed up, that is. I see. But are you sure? Are you positive you didn't see anyone else? There should be an old man here somewhere. We came here because he called us. Old man? No, I tell you, I didn't see anyone. I don't know anything, not even where this is. All right. But I think we should look around some more. Could you wait for us for a while? That telephone call. I wonder if it was a trick to lure us here. Maybe. But who would do that, and why? Look, how should I know? But I guess you're right. I guess we'd better get out of here. Great. I'm all for getting out of here. We'll just check to make sure it's safe first. You wait right here, Justine. Okay? Okay, fine. Let's look for a way out of here. Hey, look! There's something on the floor. It's a key! I wonder what door it's for.
Hey, there's a pickaxe here. I bet you this will come in handy. I bet we could break down walls with this. There's something about this wall. Something about it just bugs me. Doesn't it look weird to you? You're right. We could try breaking it down with this. Hey, there's a hidden room here. I knew it. My hunches are always right. Hey, there's something on the floor. It's a videotape. Let's pick it up. The garage door! We can get out through here! Justine, in here! Okay, I'm coming! All right, let's get out of here. Where do you want to go? I'm worried about our co-workers. There isn't anybody at the office anymore. The chief told everybody to go home. I stayed and saw everybody else off personally. I bet that they're all with the families now and that they've already escaped the city. We ought to escape too. I'm worried about my family. They might still be here in Chicago looking for me. Okay. Then, let's take Justine home first. You can just take me as far as you're going. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. Our other teams that got sent out, the ones that haven't come back to the office yet, they might still be here in the city, too. If we're going to evacuate, we have to make sure the other teams are safe first. Son of a... Are you serious? I know where Kristen's team is anyway. He got word there was a monster in the old Miller family mansion. He took his team over there to cover the story. The Miller mansion, huh? All right, thanks. Let's go. God damn it! Be a miracle if we get out of Chicago alive! We're here in front of the Miller Mansion, in one of the city's residential areas. Chicago appears to have turned into a virtual city of death. Our news team has gotten word that some of our colleagues may have been left behind in this mansion. We will now enter the residence to look for them. There's a monster right in front of us! It's not attacking! I bet it would if we got too close. Man, that thing looks brutal! We wouldn't stand a chance against it. Make sure you stay back. All right. And we'd better be sure we don't make it mad. Let's go look for some leads.
like the basement. Wanna go down? I don't know. It looks pretty spooky. I think I'll stay here. Poor guy. It's all over for him. God, it's a shame when a co-worker dies. No matter who it is. But I guess we'd better be going. Did you find any leads down there? What's the matter? Was there something down there? Nah. Just another dead body. You're kidding. What happened? Must have been the monster. Let's go. We don't have time to worry about it. I guess you're right. What's that? There's something on top of the armoire. It's too high. We won't be able to reach it. If we use this... We should be able to reach up there. It's a key. I wonder what it's for. What a huge refrigerator! I bet we can open this with that key we just found. It opened! With a shotgun like this, we won't have any more problems with monsters. Huh? What's the matter? Damn! Looks like we're out of bullets. Oh well, that monster's in heaven. I mean, hell. Whew. That was amazing. 
Well, I could get used to this feeling. It won't open. Hmm? What's the matter? <coughs> uh, nothing. Never mind. Hmm. I don't know. It's another bathtub. Maybe we'll find something if we pull the plug. Too bad. Nothing this time, I guess. Gee, I don't know. now. This way, huh? Looks like there isn't anyone else here. <sighs> Why did this have to happen? What's that? Christian! Anne? Is that you? What are you doing here? We came to rescue you! I... I... I was a fool. I let my whole team get killed. What kind of director am I, anyway? Don't talk anymore. It's all too... strange. What's happening here in Chicago? And what Zaka is doing too? I don't know the details, but... Jeff might know something. Lately, the Chief's been sending Jeff out on special assignments. Jeff went to St. Matthew's Church. It's ten blocks up. Went there to do a story. Oh, and... Could you do me a favor? Tell my wife something for me. I'm going someplace far away to do a story. And I won't be back. Tell her it's my lucky break. 
biggest scoop of my life. Christian! Christian, wake up! No! You can't die! He's already dead. Let's go! <laughs> Christian! I'm so sorry! Goodbye! I have to go! Come on! Let's go to the church! Good evening, everyone. This is Ann Anderson. I'm afraid I have nothing left to report. I've lost so many things. Chicago is in a horrible state of tragedy. I've come here now to St. Matthew's Church, but I've all but given up hope. To Zaka's TV dear faithful viewers, this may be my last report. Ann Anderson, signing off. Look at all these dead bodies. Maybe Jeff's one of them. Wait! I saw something move up toward the front. Somebody's there. Jeff! Jeff! Come on out if you're here! <laughs> Just trying to kill it the usual way isn't going to work with this monster! Well, what else am I supposed to do? Watch out! Above you!
but we didn't have any other choice. Those guys, they weren't the people they used to be. They were just monsters. Don't think about it. Think about what we're gonna do next instead. <sighs> I guess you're right. We didn't have a choice. Thank you, Briscoe. I feel better now. Say, Briscoe, I want to check a few more things here, and I'm worried about my family, too. Go on without me. Okay, if that's what you want. The two of us will head to the main headquarters of the Zaka TV group. I bet that's where the chief is. I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Tell her just how it's been going for us out here. Good. You do that. Will you be okay by yourself? Hey, this is me you're talking to, remember? Man, I can't believe all the stuff we've been through. But I doubt we've seen the end of it. This fog just won't lift. It's really hard to see. There's the lodge. Is it alive? <sighs> are you two with Zaka TV? What are you doing here? Did Dwight ask you to come? No. We had a little car crash. We've been wandering around looking for help. We just found this place totally by accident. Really? And you? What were you doing there, passed out? Hmm. I was supposed to meet Dwight here. But I can't remember anything else. Huh? Anyway, let's go inside and talk. I can't relax out here. How did you know we were a Zaka TV news team? Because that's a Zaka TV shirt. Dwight works for Zaka TV, so I recognized it. Huh? By Dwight? Do you mean Dwight Murdoch? Yes, that's right. Do you know him? Of course I do. He and I go way back. He got hired at the same time, you see. He never told me he had such a cute girlfriend, though. My name's Nina. Nice to meet you. The name's Briscoe. And what about you? You never put down that camera, do you? That gets to be a habit with TV cameramen. But you probably know all about it. Yes, I do, actually. Dwight's the same way. So, why did you come here? 
Didn't you think you should evacuate? I heard the evacuation advisory after Dwight had already gone out to cover the story. He called me from where he was. He couldn't make it back to our apartment, so we agreed to meet halfway, here at this lodge. And so here I am. Why were you passed out? Did you get attacked? I don't know. Maybe. The question is, who attacked you? If he's hanging around here when everybody else is evacuating, he must be up to no good, doing something he didn't want anybody to see. And then you showed up. I bet he hit you over the head with a blunt instrument. So where is this guy now? He's probably still somewhere nearby. <coughs> Calm down. There's nothing to worry about, Nina. It's just thunder. It's starting to rain. So you think this guy is nearby? I don't know. But don't worry. We're here with you now. That's true. I wonder what's keeping Dwight, though. Why don't you try paging him? Good idea. Man, that shower did me a world of good. Sounds like the rain stopped, too. I guess we'd better head out then. Nina, could you go get the car from the lot? Uh, sorry, but I want to rest a little bit more. I feel a little dizzy. Are you alright? I'll be fine. I just need to rest, that's all. Are you sure? Yeah, you'd better hurry though. Alright, let's go. Huh? Did you hear something upstairs just now? Is somebody up there? It's probably somewhere close by. We can't stay here any longer. You're right. I'll go get the car. Let's go. Look, here's a shotgun. You might not know it to look at me, but I'm pretty good with a gun. As long as we have this, we can feel safe, huh? Briscoe was pretty calm about finding his co-worker dead, don't you think? Maybe he's a really cold guy. Or maybe he's just seen too much, and he's gotten numb to it all. But wait a minute. You don't suppose... Do you think Briscoe could be... Nah, he couldn't be. What am I thinking? I must be getting really tired to have a suspicion like that. Here it is. This is my car. Come on, get in. Let's get back to the lodge. Briscoe is waiting for us. truth. I still can't believe this is all happening. But I guess that's the way it is. The bigger things are, the less real they actually seem. Almost like a video game, you know? I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I think I'm getting tired and confused. Look, here we are. Risk 
Marco, do you still feel dizzy? No, I'm fine now. Let's head out. What was that? nothing compared to that bear I killed one time. Ah, that thing wasn't so tough. <laughs> Don't let your guard down just yet. In the movie... <laughs> Left. I'll make this thing blow up from inside. Nina! Look out! We're just about to arrive at headquarters. We never would have gotten this far without Nina. I'm really grateful to her. We're here. The fog is thick here, too. We might run into some monsters, so watch out. Thank goodness. Yeah. A lot of stuff happened, but we're still alive. Good to see you're all right, too. How were things at home? My whole family had already evacuated, but I'm worried about Jonesy. He wasn't there. Jonesy? Yes, our cat. Oh, okay. Well, I bet your family took him with them. So what about the chief? Did you already talk to her? No, not yet. Say, Briscoe, I'm sorry. I've been so hard on you. I feel really bad about it now. Nah, don't worry about it. I was to blame too, you know. Well, let's go inside. Okay, now. Let's really let the chief have it this time. We've really got to let her know in no uncertain terms. The teams go through hell out there when we're covering the news. Especially this time. The government issued an evacuation advisory, but she sent us out anyway. A lot of our colleagues have disappeared. Some of them are even dead. Like Pamela. I'd like to make that damn chief go through the same thing poor Pamela went through. Yeah. Damn straight. And you know what else? She'd better make damn sure she doesn't go exposing any more of us employees to danger. And she'd better let the ones who are left evacuate. I'm gonna make her promise. And you, you get it all on tape, all right? Okay, good. Monsters! Pesky runts! Fire! Get, get it! 
Not bad, huh? Yeah, baby! You did it! Okay, let's go. So the chief's in there, huh? Okay, let's go in. All right. So the chief's in there, huh? Excuse me. I'm Ann Anderson. What's going on? What's this disturbance? And a camera, too. What's the meaning of this? We have something very important we want to talk to you about. Oh, you do, do you? And what might that be? Well, you see... Hey! What's the matter? Go ahead and tell her! Me? It was your idea, Briscoe. Speak up now. It's your job to communicate, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Look, Briscoe, I can't do this. When she looks at me, my heart starts pounding. I can't get the words out. What? Hmm. Could that old rumor be true? The one about the chief having uh, special relationships with her reporters. Pamela denied it, but I don't know. What are you two whispering about? You're being very rude, you know. Uh, all right, fine. I'll say it then. Listen, chief! Hmm. Let's see. Your name was Briscoe, wasn't it? Y y yes. Uh, that's right. Briscoe. Uh, gee. You know my name? Wow. I'm honored. You have a reputation for doing fine work out in the field. You're the number one candidate for this year's Flair Award. Uh, am I really? And of course, I've been thinking about a suitable promotion for you. Wow. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Now wait just a minute, Briscoe. Have you forgotten all about Pamela? Oh! Right! Of course! Now, listen here, Chief! You deliberately ignored the government's evacuation advisory. You demanded that the news teams go out and cover stories. You unnecessarily put their lives in jeopardy. Oh my. I never demanded that the teams do anything. Just shut up and listen. And listen good, Chief. I, Jean, Philip Briscoe, say this as a representative of all Zaka TV news teams. We refuse to get kicked around anymore. My, my. This is fascinating. Do go on. 
So this is what you're going to do, Chief. Find out what happened to every single news team member that disappeared. And make sure we all get safely evacuated. You're going to do these things, and you're going to do them right away. You got that? And you're going to apologize to and compensate the families of the team members who died. I want you to promise you're going to do these things right here in front of this camera. There's no need for that. All those things have already been taken care of. Oh, they have? But, hey, wait just a minute. Show me you're taking this seriously. Don't delegate these things to your staff. I want you to take care of them personally. Briscoe, let me share something with you. Five hours from now, there'll be a military rescue transport at the airport. That's the military. Do you hear me? I negotiated for this with General Sanders personally, you see. Now, I hope you're beginning to understand. Oh, I see. A military transport, you say? Well, that's great. I guess somebody as important as you would have lots of high-level connections like that. Gee, I... Well... So, Briscoe, would you like to be on that transport? Well, sure. Of course. You want to get out of here? Yes. Uh, I'll do anything. Well, then I have a little favor to ask. A favor, ma'am? What is it? One of our men is being held in detention in a certain place. Held in detention? What for? Please, don't ask. The man's name is Glenn Buckland, I believe. With the confusion of the evacuation advisory, I'm afraid he was left behind, still locked up. We just can't leave him there now, can we? I'd like you to go rescue him. Mm, okay. You want to make sure every single employee is all right. Isn't that what you said? Well, yes. Yes, of course. So, where is this guy being held? In a research room at the Von Erich Library. A research room at the library. Got it. We'll get him out of there. And as I'm sure you've realized, this could be a big scoop. You know, a dramatic rescue scene. Make sure you get it all on tape. And as for your report... Yes, ma'am. Your work hasn't been quite up to snuff lately. A news reporter has to be professional and accurate at all times, you know. I'm very sorry, ma'am. A pro never makes excuses for herself. Take the chance you're given and get it right. This next report will be your moment of truth. Yes, ma'am. I'll do my best. You do that. Very well. That will be all. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Excuse us then, ma'am. Hey, Briscoe. What the heck was that in there? I don't know what happened. I couldn't help it. It was like I couldn't go against her, you know? Didn't you feel the same way? Yes, I guess I did. I don't know why, but she makes me want to give her the best report ever, even if it means risking my own life. Y yeah me too Let's go do this thing then! Yes, let's go! To the library! You'll drive, won't you, Briscoe? Sure!
So they locked the poor guy up. That's going way too far. I wonder what for. I bet he was fired. What are you talking about? Here's what I think. I bet they were going to fire him or transfer him or something, and he wouldn't go along with it. Yeah? And then what? On the pretext of having him concentrate on gathering data without being disturbed, they shut him up in the library research room during working hours. They were hoping he would get fed up with it and quit on his own. I thought it was just a rumor, but it looks like the company really was doing that sort of thing. That's outrageous! We'd better do a really good report this time. I don't want anything like that happening to us. And I want to get out of Chicago safely. Yeah. I'm with you. Look, we're almost at the library. Three, two, one. Good evening, everyone. This is Anne Anderson. I'm reporting to you from in front of the Von Erich Library. Our news team has remained behind here in the city, still covered in a mysterious fog, to bring you the news. According to information just in, there's a man still here at the library who was shut up and left behind in a research room. We're about to go in and rescue him. We're here inside the Von Erich Library. There's no sign of anybody around. The staff have all presumably evacuated. We're going to try and find the research room where the man is reportedly being held. This is the checkout desk. This is where books would ordinarily be borrowed from the library. As you can see, there is no one here now. As you can see, the library's interior is dim. The shelves are lined with row upon row of neat, orderly books. It's deadly quiet here. Here are stairs that lead to the basement. Let's go and see what it looks like, shall we? Ordinarily, this library would be bustling with many, many visitors. Today, however, it's empty. This way, huh? It seems to have an electronic lock. It seems to be a book research terminal. Oh, it's working. Something has appeared on the screen, but what's showing on the monitor? That's not a book research terminal. It's a security camera monitor. Well, what a surprise. What appeared at first glance to be a research terminal was actually a surveillance system. It seems every room in the library can be observed right here on this monitor.
Look, there's something there. What could it be? It's so small, I can't tell. Look at the way those shelves are arranged. Isn't that a little unnatural? Oh, there's somebody there. There's a man in the small room at the back. Could this be the man that was locked in? He appears to be afraid of something. Look, there's something written on the wall. There's something strange about that clock. It looks like it only has an hour hand. The time is slightly off too. Could it be stopped? Can you hear me? This is Ann Anderson of Zaka TV. Can you hear me? Don't worry. We've come to get you out of there. If you can hear me, please answer me. It's no use. I don't think he can hear me. It's an electronic lock. It won't open. There's something on top of the shelves. I wonder what it is. I can't tell from here. Oh, a stepladder. They must use it for getting books down from the top shelves. I think I can use it to get what we saw on top of the shelves. I wonder if it goes to a door in the library. The old books on the shelves give off a faintly musty odor. It's that smell unique to libraries. I wonder what the second floor looks like. Let's go and see, shall we? As you can see, the second floor also contains shelves filled with many, many books. the door that the key belonged to. I wonder what this room's for. It seems to be a perfectly ordinary room. There's a desk and a few other things here and there. There's some kind of note.
Let's go in. Mr. Buckland, are you all right? I'm Ann Anderson, a Zaka TV reporter. We came to rescue you. He's been killed. Another monster, maybe? Look! Over there! It's an air vent. A monster must have gotten in through there and attacked this guy. The worst has happened. A monster. It seems a monster found its way inside here. Zaka TV News did our best to get him as quickly as we could. But unfortunately, when we arrived, he had already been killed in the horrible way you see here. The monster probably came in through that air vent, killed the man, and then vanished. Our news team is now in danger, too. I think we'd better leave this place at once. I'm Ann Anderson, reporting to you from the Von Erich Library. Okay, that was good. I just hope the Chief likes it. Oh, I bet she will. What with the gross footage and all. Wait, look. There's a notebook on the floor. Let's get this on camera, too. The poor guy. Did he die because he knew too much? There's something written under today's date. He was supposed to meet a Dr. O'Connor at Club Gochi today. I wonder who this Dr. O'Connor is. I don't know, but I think it's a safe bet. He knows the truth behind this fog and the monsters. So you want to go there? Of course. Let's go. It's a huge scoop. fired up, aren't you? You bet I am. We've been chasing all over town, getting attacked by monsters, watching people die, and we still haven't learned anything. I want to find out what exactly is going on. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Look, we're pulling up to Club Gochi now. Three, two. Good evening, everyone. This is Ann Anderson. Following up on our own leads, Zaka News Team has learned that Dr. O'Connor, the man who might know what's behind the tragedies that have been occurring here in Chicago, is here at Club Gochi. Just what kind of man is Dr. O'Connor? And does he know the truth? These are questions that will hopefully soon be answered.
As you can see, it is pitch black here inside Club Gochi. We can't see anything. Hey guys, what are we gonna do? We can't film like this. Can't we turn on the lights? Hold on, I'll flip the switch. Where is it? Oh, here it is. No good. It looks like the breaker is off. Where's the breaker? How should I know? I can't look for it in this darkness. Well, what are we going to do? Hmm, let's see. I think there was a junk shop in this neighborhood. Maybe we can find an infrared unit for the camera there. All right, good. Let's go find that junk shop then. Get in, everybody. I've been to this junk shop before, when we were in the area doing a story. The owner was bragging they have everything under the sun there. Everything under the sun? I highly doubt that. Yeah, well, checking the place out is still worth a shot, isn't it? Is that the place? Yeah, that's right. Do you really think they'll have an infrared unit for the camera there? We won't know until we go look. It's kind of dirty in here. A lot of monitors here. Yes, they carry a lot of audiovisual equipment. Hey, did you hear something just now? Hear something? No, not really. Over here. What? You ignoring me? Over here. Huh? There's something on the floor. It's the key to some door. Nope, it won't open. What's in here, I wonder? Let's go in and see. It's a bathroom. God, what a stench. Oh, it stinks. Do we have to check this room? Well, actually, I've been waiting to take a leak for a long time now. But I've been holding it. Oh, gross, Briscoe. Well, hurry up. Sorry. Yikes! Dead body here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the hell? I'm going to pee my pants. I thought it stank in here. Let's hurry up and get out of here. There might be some monsters around. <laughs> Thank you. 
It'd be nice if we could get into the storeroom. I bet this key will open the door. I doubt there's anything useful in here. Gotta be an infrared unit around here somewhere. I don't think there's anything else in here. Isn't this it? Yeah! An infrared unit! All we have to do is slap this on the camera and we'll be able to shoot in the dark! Now we can make that report inside Club Gochi! Great! That's it then! Yes, let's hurry back to Club Gochi. infrared unit look like it's going to work? It should be fine. Make sure you get everything on film. We're nearly there. Make this report a good one. I'll do my best. Take a look around, viewers. Ordinarily overflowing with great crowds of young people. Club Gochi is now, as you can see, completely quiet. With the power turned off inside the building, we can't film right now with an ordinary camera. The images you are looking at now are being shot with an infrared camera. We will now use this infrared camera to locate and restore power to the building. After that, we intend to find and talk to Dr. O'Connor. Okay, that was good. You conveyed a real sense of tension there. Great report. Thanks. Now then. It's pitch black beyond this point, so we won't be able to go with you. You've got the infrared, so you're the only one who will be able to see it.
Thank you. Now we can pick up the report again. Good job. Okay, here we go. Welcome back, viewers. Thanks to the efforts of our news team, power has been restored to the building. We will now investigate the interior of Club Gochi. As you can see, Club Gochi is designed to look like a gigantic prison cell. Entirely enclosed in steel bars, it's rather disconcerting to be inside. But these days, Club Gochi is a popular night spot with the hip young crowd. This is the entrance. It doesn't look like anybody will be getting carded today. This is the dance floor. Ordinarily, this floor would be pulsating with the vibrations of loud dance music. But, as you can see, it's entirely silent now. This is the stage. There's some equipment set up for the DJ. This is the bar. As you can see, they have a large assortment of liquor, wine, and beer. This appears to be the control room. Apparently, they control the sound throughout the club here by using this computerized system. Could that room beyond the stage be the VIP room? This is the VIP room. Club Gochi's holiest ground, one could say. Could the man named Dr. O'Connor be inside this room? Dr. O'Connor, are you here? Dr. O'Connor? He's here! You're Dr. O'Connor, aren't you? What's this? Who are you people? You there, turn off that camera. I'm Ann Anderson, a reporter from Zaka TV. You're Dr. O'Connor, aren't you? Would you please allow us to interview you? What in the world are you talking about? You're making absolutely no sense. Dr. O'Connor, we have reason to believe that you know what is behind this mysterious fog. What is causing the gruesome monster attacks all over Chicago? We want to hear the truth directly from you. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why on earth are you bothering me? This is completely outrageous. You were supposed to meet a man named Glenn Buckland here, weren't you? Huh? How did you know that? Did you talk to him? 
Why isn't Glenn here? He's dead. What? Glenn? He was killed by a monster. He was attacked in the basement of the library. We tried to save him, but... I see. And you want to know more about what killed him, is that it? So you do know something, isn't that true? I'll tell you about it then. The monster that killed him is the military, the government, and Zaka Group. What are you talking about? The military, the government, and Zaka Group? <laughs> Trying to use that brain of yours, are you? Zaka Group is a huge enterprise made up of a parent company and some 1,300 subsidiaries. Did you ever stop to wonder how it got so big? Just what are you insinuating? DNA, that's how. DNA? <laughs> I see TV turns even the brains of those who appear on it to mush. You must at least know that Zaka Group has a patent on its DNA manipulation technology. I'm not stupid. Of course I know that much. But I'm sure your tiny brain has never imagined what Zaka could do with that technology. You sure know how to make people angry, don't you? <laughs> Soon you humans won't be enjoying such superior attitudes anymore. What in the world are you babbling about? Brisco? there's something wrong with this guy. All right, all right. Calm down, both of you. I'm sorry, Dr. O'Connor. Why don't we all have a drink? We can talk again after we've had a chance to relax. Why do all of you turn to alcohol in every situation? Usually you hold yourselves in check. But then you use alcohol as a crutch and expect it to solve all of your problems. Isn't it all rather ridiculous? Besides, my body can't process alcohol anymore. In the end, no matter what I tell you, it's not like it'll save you from getting infected. What is this lunatic talking about? Hold on, Briscoe. Dr. O'Connor, what do you mean, infected? The virus. Virus? What virus? Is your head an empty shell as well? The virus is what's behind everything that's been going on here in the city. You've seen them, haven't you? The people being transformed. Now, wait just one minute. People turning into monsters? DNA? A virus? <laughs> now you're finally beginning to catch on. Are you talking about... biological weapons? Making viruses on purpose? Why would anyone do that? Isn't it wonderful? It's the latest form of bioweapon. The enemies are infected by the virus, and they turn into monsters and start killing each other. Its beauty is in its efficiency. Wouldn't you agree? But I'm afraid this virus has been a failure. Those infected can't be controlled, and their sense organs degenerate. They display excessive reactions to loud noises, which attract them. They just don't make good weapons. How did the virus get spread all over Chicago? I don't know. <gasps> Come to think of it. About a week ago, a small plane of unknown origin crashed into Lake Michigan. Could that have been the cause? Yes, it very well could have been. Don't tell me you don't have a way to stop the spread and development of this virus. This guy is completely bonkers. Of course there's a way. When making a virus, you obviously want to make a vaccine at the same time. This vaccine prevents people from getting infected in the first place. For those who have already turned into monsters, the vaccine euthanizes them mercifully. If you have a vaccine like that, why don't you use it? The military carried off most of the vaccine. They took the lab animals too. I think they said something about transporting everything by train. 
They promised joint research, but they stole it all without contributing a thing. That's why I just can't trust the military. This is all so horrible. Hey, give us that medicine. There's still time to save everybody. <laughs> why, why do you humans always insist on remaining human? <laughs> What's the matter? <coughs> It looks like the symptoms of my infection are beginning to show. I, I, I have the vaccine right here. Then why don't you take it? I, I don't want it. It unfortunately can't be used in its current form. So what are we supposed to do? <laughs> why? Why do you want to know? You want to play hero? <laughs> Just tell us. What can we do? <laughs> the virus I created. It's now here. Inside my own body. It's wonderful. A new form of life. Oh, this guy is really crazy. All right. Make sure you get all this on tape. I'm making a report. Take a look at this, viewers. The man who created the virus that turns people into monsters is now... Just about to turn into a monster himself. Why did this man ever create such a virus? And why is he allowing that virus to overpower his own body now? Could it be that the guilt he carries for his sins is making him do it? Hey! That's enough! Run already! Can't drink alcohol. How about a drink, Dr. O'Connor? Haven't had enough to drink yet, huh? Please drink responsibly, Dr. O'Connor. Risco, do you really think what Dr. O'Connor said is true? Huh? What are you talking about? The relationship between Zaka Group and the military? Well, I wouldn't rule it out. I kind of think it might be true myself. Yes, but still... What? I'm not really convinced. I mean, the military and Zaka Group behind everything? It's unbelievable. 
And how in the world did we get mixed up in all of this? What are you talking about? This is our job. Being there to capture the truth is the duty of a news team, isn't it? This kind of chance is the best thing that could happen to us professionally. But are we really getting closer to the truth? Just think about it a minute. Rather than it being some big conspiracy, I bet there's somebody closer to home that's pulling the strings. You're thinking too much. You're tired, and you're trying to make this whole thing more complicated than it really is. Risco, what do you think we should do now? Dr. O'Connor said they were transporting the vaccine by train, right? Well, the trains should all be stopped because of this thick fog. Why don't we go to Grant Park Station? I bet all the shipments will be held up there. That's the end of the line. Do you think we should? Of course! Well, what do you want to do? If we go right, it'll take us to the forest building. Adonis might be there. If we go left, it's Grant Park Station. We might find the vaccine. I'm worried about Adonis. Let's try the forest building. Okay, forest building it is then. We've just about reached the forest building. I hope Adonis is all right. As you can see, we're here inside the forest building. It seems to have escaped monster attack for now. Nothing seems to be out of place here. Let's go upstairs. Get in. There's a door here. Let's go in. It's a key. I wonder what it goes to. Yikes! door here. It opened.
There's a door here. No good. It doesn't look like the key we have will open it. Look, there's something there. What could it be? It's so small, I can't tell. It's a key. You've got a really dirty mind! There's a door here. It opened! It's Adonis! What are you doing hiding hey, in there? Man, don't come near me! What are you talking about? We came looking for you, man! Indians! I told you to stay away! Huh? So won't work. Run! after I did, but I had a lot of respect for him. We went there to save him, but we ended up not being able to do a damn thing. God damn it! I feel so empty. Come on, let's just head to Grand Park Station. Look, it's a Saki TV news van. There might be some survivors in it. Let's check it out. Have a look at this, viewers. We found a news van we believe our Zaka TV colleagues were in. We will now check for survivors. I don't see anybody in the driver's seat. Maybe somebody is in the back. Let's go find out. Man, this is awful. I'm afraid there aren't any survivors. No, huh? Well, I guess we'd better get to the station. Huh? Did you hear that? It sounds like some kind of beast roaring. It might be a monster. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Come on. things we don't know. For instance, how does the infection spread? Through the air, maybe? If that's true, then there's a good chance we've all already been infected. I don't even want to think about it. We don't even know how long the incubation period is after somebody gets infected. It was pretty quick in Pamela's case. Maybe it's different with each person. I guess it won't do us any good to think about it. I guess not. Let's just hope we find that vaccine at the station. Yeah, we're almost there.
Good evening. This is Ann Anderson. By going to Club Gochi and making contact with Dr. O'Connor, a biotech researcher, we learned that the cause of the tragedy now occurring in Chicago is a new bioweapon developed by the military and Zaka group. There is a vaccine that can save people from the terror of the virus. It could be located somewhere here in Grant Park Station. The question is, will we be able to find it? This is the ticket gate. Ordinarily, many people would be passing through these turnstiles in both directions. But there isn't a soul here now. There are papers scattered here and there, the only sign that there were ever people here. There's a train stopped at the platform. Let's go take a look. Have a look at this, viewers. This car looks like it might have been used for transporting some kind of animals. These appear to be cages. They're empty now, however. A part of one of the cages is destroyed.
as you can see, there's a woman's body here. She appears to have been a researcher. Could she have been attacked by an escaped beast? It looks like she has something in her hand. What is it? It appears to be a bottle of chemicals. The bottle is broken and the contents are gone. I wonder what was in it. Hold on. The ingredients are written on the bottle. Sodium chloride, potassium chloride, magnesium chloride. We could make a culture medium for the vaccine with these ingredients. Hmm. These ingredients are pretty common. Maybe we could find other things that contain them. What? Really? Yes. I bet we could even find them in a convenience store. Whoa! I think there was a convenience store nearby. Let's go! Did you hear something just now? Anybody there? Hey. Hey. Are you guys with some TV station? Do you think you could give me a hand? I hurt my leg, and I can't get up onto the platform. Hey! What are you filming? This isn't some kind of show. Hurry up and pull me up, will you? Hey, hurry up! Come on! The train's coming! Hey! Him. Do you really want to scoop that bad? Is that more important to you than a man's life? Huh? I'm really disgusted with you. After we're done with this assignment, I'm never going to work with you again. You make me sick. Not yet! We haven't done what we came here to do yet.
It's a special type of ammo that can be packed with the vaccine. I bet we could load your pistol with it. And then we could shoot monsters with it, right? Right. But first we have to get the vaccine. Let's go! Let's go. Let's get to that convenience store. find a substitute for the culture medium at the convenience store? I don't know. I only said we might find it there. God damn it. All we can do is look, right? I know that. That's why we're heading there right now, isn't it? <sighs> huh. Come on. Okay, now. We're looking for sodium chloride. Potassium chloride and magnesium chloride, remember? I know that. about this sports drink, I wonder? Saccharide? Sodium chloride? Hey! Flavorings. Amino acid, sodium citrate, calcium lactate, potassium chloride. That's two! Magnesium chloride! Bingo! That's all three! It looks like it has a lot of other ingredients we don't need in it, too, though. At this point, who cares? I bet it'll do the trick anyway. Do you think so? Let's go! We'll be able to make the vaccine with this and escape! Let's get to the airport! You don't want to go back to headquarters? Nah, forget about that place. Not only do we have the culture medium, but we've got tape with the truth on it, too. 
as long as we have those, we've got the upper hand. I don't care if we're up against the Zaka group or even the military. There's a hotel. Why don't we take a break? I've been driving forever, and I'm exhausted. No way. It might be dangerous. Let's just hurry up and get to the airport. It's gonna be just as dangerous if I keep driving. We don't want any more accidents. like anybody's around nobody here huh well that's all right nobody's gonna care if we get some rest right I'm going to bed <sighs> me up if anything happens <laughs> You're such a naughty girl. I'm sorry to wake you up, but there's something in this hotel! Yo! Yeah, there's something here. We don't want any more monster attacks, right? Let's just hurry up and get out of here! Wait, I hear something coming from that room. Let's check it out! What? Where are you going? You're gonna lead us straight into trouble! It won't open! It's locked! Just forget about it! Let's get to the airport! Nope, it won't open. There's got to be a master key around somewhere. Oh, come off it. Enough already. I hope the key's in here. <gasps> huh? Oh my god. What happened here? Don't go in there. It's too dangerous! 
it goes all the way to that other room. It's, it's no use. Hey, do you think that's the owner of this hotel? It's no use. I can't go on. Hey, is he gonna... Use. Oh my god! Yes! Why? How could I let that monster stay here? My darling. Hey! You gotta hurry up and stop him! If you don't, he's gonna... Hey! Hey, are you filming? If I had refused, you would still be... I'm, I'm coming to be with you, darling. Right now, darling. Here I come! Hey! What's the matter with you? I'm gonna stop it! Obviously, didn't want to go on living. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know what I'd do if I lost the one I loved. at the airport. The military transport is gonna come get us. Time to say goodbye to this monster-infested city. Yahoo! Don't you leave without us. If you didn't want to stop at that hotel, we would be there by now. I can't do anything about that now. Yes, I know. Anyway, we're almost there. Let's not argue anymore. Yes, you're right. All right! This is our last report. Good luck! Thanks. You can count on me. Stand by. Three, two, one, go! Good evening, everybody. This is Ann Anderson. We're here at the Great Tezu Airport in an attempt to evacuate Chicago. As you can see, the airport, just like everything else, is blanketed by thick fog. Visibility is practically zero. We've received information that a military transport will be arriving here. For the time being, we'll move on to the control room. Okay, that was good. Let's go. We're here inside the control room. There isn't anybody here. Now, we have to ask, will a military transport really be landing here to rescue civilians? <gasps> Something's coming in over the radio. The Great Tezu control room. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's going on down there? We're waiting for you to rescue us. Please hurry. Of course. That's what we came for. But you must turn on the runway lights. Okay, I'll try. Which one is the button for the runway lights? This one? No. Maybe this one? No! 
It's no use. None of these buttons work. Maybe the power is cut off. It doesn't have to be the runway lights. If there was some other landmark, something we could pinpoint, we could figure out where the runway was from there and when. A landmark or something. Hey, look at that map. There's that lighthouse. Oh, you're right. The lighthouse. Would the lighthouse be all right? That would be fine. Okay, we've located it on our map. Now, if you'll just turn on the lighthouse beacon, we can land. All right. We're heading for the lighthouse right now. But you've got to hurry. We're running out of fuel. All right, we will. Let's get to that lighthouse. Hey, come on! What's taking you guys so long? Let's go! Come on, get in! Look! Over there! There's somebody coming! Are you filming? Who is it? Well, here you all are. It looks like we all made it in time. Is that right? In that case, you'd better hurry to the lighthouse. I'll wait here while you turn on the beacon. We'll meet up again after that. I'll have a talk with General Sanders to be sure all of you will be allowed onto the transport. Hey! Chief! Run! What? Is that any way to talk to me? Behind you! Quick! What? What? <laughs> <laughs> took her but why would Pamela drag the chief off with her why doesn't she just kill her right here it doesn't matter now come on let's go oh hello people somebody's there finally real people at last I have no idea what's going on where did all this fog come from? We don't have any time to waste on this guy. We've got to get to the lighthouse. Wait! Don't go! Hey, stop it! I've been so lonely all by myself. Don't leave me! <laughs> This guy is looking really sick. I bet he's infected with that virus. Virus? What are you talking about? I don't have a cold or anything. Oh, okay. This guy doesn't realize what's happening to him. I didn't know what I was going to do. I woke up and everybody was gone. Where could Dr. O'Connor be? I wonder. What did you say? Don't tell me you're Dr. O'Connor's guinea pig. What? You know Dr. O'Connor too? Where is he? That Dr. O'Connor is so mean. Poking and prodding a guy's body like he was nothing. And when I woke up, he was gone too. He left me all alone. What the heck is going on? Hey, you guys. Get Dr. O'Connor to come back! No! Wait a minute! Don't go! Wait! <laughs> Look! Over there! Do you see that? Come on! I'll race you! Hey, 
Come on, over here! No! Keep away from me! Stay away! This guy is nuts! What do you want to do? Hey. But he's a monster! He's not human! <laughs> Where's Dr. O'Connor? Dr. O'Connor! That guy? He was what was causing everything? Where is that transport? I don't see it anywhere. Come on, let's just get to the lighthouse. Oh. Well, we made it to the lighthouse. Now all we have to do is turn on the beacon. Well, now that we're here, I'm exhausted. Say, Briscoe, could you two guys go on up without me? That's enough reporting, don't you think? Why? What's the matter? Let's just stop with the reports. I mean, what's the point anymore? Oh, <sighs> Nobody's going to see them anyway. That's not true. Even if we don't make it, there'll still be the videotapes. Somebody will see the truth. They'll see us, and they'll know we're alive. I've had enough. I'm tired. I can't walk another step. I'll wait for you guys here. You two go ahead by yourselves. All right. If that's the way you feel. It's too bad, though. Come on, let's go! So this is the lighthouse, huh? <sighs> Looks like it's just you and me now. Well, let's get this taken care of. Hey, what do you think of Anne? You know what I think? I think that reporter knows who's behind all this stuff that's been going on. That one's the chief's favorite, after all. Yeah! And that damn chief! She was the one that forced us all into this whole mess from the start! 
goddamn chief! The next time I see her, I swear I'm gonna... Oops. I forgot you were getting this on camera. You'll edit that part out, won't you? Man, that guy they were experimenting on. Do you think he was what was causing the fog? And what was up with that plane that crashed into Lake Michigan? I just don't know. This must be it. This is the power supply to the lighthouse. Come on, let's go up to the top. All these deaths we've seen. Everything's all confused in my head now. I get this feeling some of these murders didn't have anything to do with the virus at all. I guess I've probably just about got the whole thing figured out. Hey, what do you think? Who do you think's behind all of this stuff? Now's your chance. This is your opportunity to let everybody know exactly what you think. Well, how about it? Hmm... Won't talk with the camera on, hey? Ha! Coward! The fog's completely cleared away! I don't see that transport anywhere, though. It looks like they deserted us. <laughs> but who cares if they don't rescue us now? Without that fog, there won't be any monsters. We can go anywhere we want. <sighs> I don't know why, but I feel so tired. I'm not feeling very good all of a sudden. It can't be!
I'll never forget you, Nina. Your beautiful eyes, your lovely black hair, that soft, translucent skin of yours. And Nina, I'll never forgive the guys that put you in this situation. It's... <laughs> Alright, man! This is great! Not the usual boring work today! It's a secret photo shoot! Wow! Come to think of it, it's already been five years since I started doing this kind of work! I'm always standing behind the camera, holding up on my being set here and there! I make fire over here, I make heist over there! I take my life into my hands and jump into all kinds of dangerous situations. Sometimes I barely escape by the skin of my teeth. But does my pay ever go up? No way! And look what they got me into this time. Straight monsters wandering all over town. I've been barely escaping with my life, and nobody ever comes to help. I want my life back, my youth. But now, finally, at last, the time for my big reward is finally here. <laughs> Don't get too carried away! The photo shoot is just about to begin! The main thing I want is who is the monster? Gonna be the model? What? You got a problem with that? Think you can do better? Oh well, whatever. Okay, let's get this thing started. I'm 
Okay, that's the end of the shoot. What do you think? Was it a pretty good shoot? Let's see. Yeah, well, I guess it turned out okay. All right, I guess it's time to pack up then. <laughs>